I'm going to show you the power up sequence here. It is powered over a micro USB port, so you're going to have to find a way to get a micro USB port powered when the car turns on. Uh, don't mind this uh, startup screen, it's just an artifact of the way that it starts. You see it's actually firing the pins that set the mode, so it's set to smart mode and it's turning off the uh, auto start stop, ISG, auto start stop, same thing. I had a character limit across the screen so I made it say ISG instead of auto start stop. Anyway, since the jumper's on, you should be able to save modes. So right now ISG is set to off, but if you press, you see the buttons over here, ABC, and on the menu here it tells you which button you're pressing. So press B, and it changes the mode to on, and that's saved. So the next time this device starts up, it will be on, and that just means it's not going to fire the pin that would turn the switch or that would press the button in your car for you. Uh, for the drive modes, same idea. Here it's uh, set to smart if you press up here, obviously that's the last option going left. So you go down through the list, there's eco and comfort. Both eco and comfort don't do anything on this. This device assumes that you're starting in comfort mode. If you start up in eco mode, it's going to mess it up the way that it's supposed to start. Um, both comfort and eco uh, do not do anything. Uh, you can keep going through all of them, sport and then custom. I know there was a Sport Plus in some place, but I don't. I'm I, I'm not going to write the software to do that. Uh, it would be easy, but I'm honestly running out of space to be able, like, on this to be able to run that extra line of code. So, anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when either Eco or Comfort are selected. So I'm going to press B to set the mode. It'll tell you that the drive mode is saved, and then it's back, and it'll tell you that your drive mode is saved to uh, Comfort, and so. What you would have to do now is you would have to restart the car or turn off the ignition at least and turn the ignition back on. Again, the pins fire one time. When it starts up, it will not make changes um, after that. It'll save what you say or what you set, but it's not going to make any changes until you restart the car or you turn the device off and back on. Remember, though, that it needs to be in custom for it to work properly or in comfort for it to work properly because it does assume that you're starting in comfort mode. So... Now that it's in comfort, I'll show you the difference in the startup. So it'll tell you it can't set comfort, so you got to manually set it, and then it'll tell you what ISG uh, mode is set. So there it is. Plain and simple. And you'll have to splice this into your car, but hey, if it works, it works.